Hello and welcome to another episode of my Productivity Mastery Series and today we are looking at tagging. Now the reason I'm going to do this is recently I have been reading a book on some serial criminals in the UK and I came across the history of how the British police force developed their digital police system and it all came about from a very old serial murder case from my very own home town or my home county of Yorkshire. And the inquiry after the failings to catch this criminal, who they did catch in the end to be fair, led the police to develop a database if you like called Homes. Now during one of the documentaries I watched on this was how they developed the Holmes system and essentially the person who was leading the inquiry said to the the computer engineers that I want to be able to put in man, dog and red car and a particular area and it would come up with a list of potential suspects in any kind of case they were investigating. That's a very very brief outline of where it all started from. But this got me thinking because I realised that a lot of people do struggle with how to actually organise their notes on a notebook and a tag level. You know, what do you use the notebooks for and what are we using the tags for? So I thought I would put together a video to give you some ideas of how you can tag and use notebooks so that you can filter things down to find what you need to find when you want to find it. So, before we go any further though, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you want to learn all about productivity systems and to become better organised then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'm going to take you into Evernote now but I should point out that pretty much like Notion and also Microsoft OneNote and Apple Notes also will do this. It's just that I have a demonstration account in Evernote so I thought I would make full use of it this time so that you can see how tagging can really help you to find better ways of organising your notes. Okay, so I'm going to keep this really simple and I'm going to use food and recipes as the basis of my demonstration simply because I think we can all relate to this and there are a number of different ways that you can organize your recipes. However, first up, let's get started with a notebook. Now, this is a really good tip. I have in this demonstration a notebook called recipes. That means that I know I do not need a filter or I should say a tag that says food or recipes because I know what I'm looking for. I know it's related to food. So of course most people are going to have many more notes than this but just to save time I want to show you just four different things so that you can actually see. We're going to start off, we may as well start off with breakfast. So I know that the, you know I'm looking for food when it comes to search so I don't really need to say food or anything like that as a tag. So what I'm going to do is down at the bottom, right down here, you can see my mouse, I'm going to type breakfast. There we go. I'm going to create the tag breakfast for that particular one. Now I could go further, I could, uh, because we're looking at the, f uh, the full English breakfast, I could add like mushrooms, bacon, sausages, black pudding, fried tomatoes and eggs if I wanted to go down that road and you have to ask yourself how are you going to search with when it comes to your notes. Now one thing that I'm likely to do is I'm certainly going to add eggs to this because eggs is something that I may want to look at different recipes related to eggs and let's go on for the bacon. So I'm going to add one for bacon. Now that's just for me. Now you may be different, you may want to search for different things. For instance you may decide that you want to be able to search for different types of soups. So you would probably 
type in a tag for soup. So you got to think about how you're going to search for something. Let's move on to the next one in the list, which is kimchi. Now, I live in Korea, so kimchi is the staple food. This actually could come under breakfast if I wanted to, but I'm actually going to put lunch because I don't actually eat kimchi for breakfast. I'm also going to put dinner because I sometimes have it for dinner. And I'm going to call this a side dish because that's, for me, what kimchi is. I don't actually usually create foods related, you know, I, I don't create a, a dinner out of kimchi. Although I do generally like, for those of you who know Korean food, I do like kimchi chige, which actually means that I'm going to add a different one here. I'm going to add in Korean because it is a Korean food. And again, what I might do at this point is go into this one and add English to this as well. So English food. So if I can type in English um, like this. So then again, I can filter things down by English. Now, let's go to the lunch here. This is also a British dish, actually. But we're going to, this is a lunch. So we're going to add a tag. We're going to call this lunch. Uh, and a plowman's lunch is, is an English dish, so I'm going to put English there as well. Now, again, you may decide that you don't need to do it by different countries. That's entirely up to you. But this is something that I, I've just decided to do. Now, plowman's lunch, there we go. That's done. That's quite easy. Again, what I might do, because I'm a big cheese fan, so I'm going to put cheese in there and, that's, and eggs, because eggs is uh, going to be added there. So I'm going to double tap one there. So I've got cheese, eggs, English and lunch. Let's go down to the final one I've got here, which is stone crabs. Now this is related to James Bond, which I'm going to actually put the tag in for James Bond. Uh, I don't actually have one. So I'm going to call this James Bond food. I am using the word food, but that's what I'm going to do because I, in my real Evernote, I have a whole catalogue of different uh, tags related to James Bond. Uh, stone crabs could be lunch or dinner, I guess. So dinner, I'm going to put that one in there. And I'm going to put seafood as well because, well, let's be honest, crabs is seafood. Now, there you go. So what I've done now is I've got a number of, quite a few tags in there. I'm just going to go into my tags. Um, and let's have a look. Let's just clear that one a moment. And you can see that all my tags now have got bacon, breakfast, cheese, eggs, English, and Korean lunch, and so on. Now, the thing is, let's say that this, I've got hundreds of notes related to this. How am I going to search for this? Now, this does depend on which uh, application you're using. Now, if you're an Evernote user, you can go into this function here called add filters. We're going to go in there and we're going to go via tag. So I'm going to look for something I can have with eggs and it's for breakfast. So I'm going to click on that and that's it. Now, to be fair, I've only got one in there which is related to breakfast and does have eggs. But let's remove that and let's see, okay, I just want something with eggs. So now I've got uh, a plowman's lunch and a full English breakfast. So I can add also, by the way, you never know, I can actually say, okay, let's have a look for lunch um, and I can just add that. So it's going to give me plowman's lunch. If I remove that one, it'll give me some more options. And let's say, oh, let's have some cheese in there as well. So again, I can get my plowman's lunch. Now I can clear that and let's say, okay, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? So again, I'm going to go into my tags. I'm going to go for dinner. I think I've actually only got, oh, I've got two there. So uh, I think I want a, a proper, let's go seafood. So go down there, click on seafood. And that is going to filter down. Oops, I've got, <laughs> let's go back. Let's go back to my uh, search here. Where is it? Is it still there? Nope. Uh, Plowman's lunch. Let's, let's go into my, uh, okay, let's go back to this. So we've got a load of notes in there. I'm going to go to my filter and say, okay, I'm going to have, what do I want for dinner? I want seafood for dinner. So dinner, and I can go down here and I can click on seafood. And there you go. Stone crabs has come up and that's basically the art of tagging. Now, the key here is, is to keep it as simple as possible. And also, don't create tags that you already have notebooks for. As I say, if I go into my notebooks here, 
I have a James Bond notebook. So there's no point in me having a tag also James Bond. The tagging is designed to be able to break it down because in my real Evernote, my main account, I have something like 350 articles and stuff that I've collected related to James Bond. So I don't want to be able to, if I type in James Bond, and it's a, a notebook and a tag, it's it's just duplication. And just to give you an idea of this one, if I go back to, let's go into the notes here uh, and go to my filters. Uh, I have an interest in uh, tags. Let's go, uh, I'm going to go, uh, we've got James Bond. I'm going to go Omega Watches. And let's see if we can pick up with something with Sean Connery. Uh, Omega and Watches, nothing for Sean Connery. But I've got Omega Watches, which comes up here. And I don't think I've actually created... Oh, I do have it. I've got something created for watches. So I've got in here one there. I think actually if I go into my inbox, I actually collected... Now, here's an interesting one. So this is James Bond. So I'm going to put James Bond watches. That is actually a tag that I do have in my real one. So we're going to add that tag. And I can add watches to this uh, because I have a number of watches there. Again, so I can go into my tags and I can create a filter. Uh, sorry, I go into my notes and I can create a filter for this by going up here, uh, tags, and I can now pick and choose whatever I want. So again, what uh, I created James watches, it should be James Bond watches. But there you go. You can pick up that note very quickly right there. And I can just add to that one, which I do, as I say, I have in my real uh, Evernote account. But there you go. That's what I wanted to show you today. So with your notebooks, what you want to be doing is making sure that your tags do not relate to the same as the notebooks. So there's no point in me adding recipes here, but I can now break it down and create filters related to what I am looking for. Hopefully that's given you some ideas on what you can do with tagging in whatever notes app you use. And I should point out as a caveat, yes, I know quite a few of the latest, shiniest object applications, such as uh, Rome Research and Obsidian, do backlinking and all that. Well, to be perfectly honest, for me, that is way too complicated. Uh, my brain just doesn't work like that. I much prefer to be manually adding the tags. Of course, Evernote, uh, and we can actually do it. I can show you this Evernote, for example. I'm thinking, oh, I know I had something about Miami. So if I can actually spell Miami, uh, I can type in Miami, do a search, and it's going to find that particular word in there. I don't need to be worrying about backlinks. It does find. Again, I noticed that I've got Goldfinger in there. So let's just type in because Goldfinger. And it's probably going to bring me up more than one note. Uh, it's going to bring me in one note there. So Goldfinger is there. And so I can find if I really want to drill down, I can use keyword searching. But to be honest, I very rarely need to do that because I do use the filters up here in Evernote to be able to find the stuff that I want. Okay, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.